Hey guys, this is Stefan with Circles, and today I'm going to show you how to open our presets in the new Logic Sampler. So Logic recently updated their old EXS24 sampler and turned it into the new Logic Sampler. It's a huge update um, in sort of all regards. It looks better, it's cleaner, it functions better. So if you're on an old version of Logic, I highly recommend updating to anything past 10.5, which is what they've um, updated this new interface for Sampler on. It's just a lot cleaner, a lot easier to load our samples and it just functions better. So if you're not sure how to update your version of Logic, I've included those notes in the description here and as well as on a step-by-step -step tutorial on our website. Both those links are in the description. Okay, so let's open up one of our presets here. If you cruise over and you've got an instrument track open, go over to instrument here. We're gonna go down to sampler and open a stereo instance of this. So if you are familiar with that old EXS24 preset, I'm sorry, EXS24 sampler. This is obviously a huge improvement. If we go up to our um, button here, this little box, I don't know what you're supposed to call this, factory default box here, and go down to load, this is where we're gonna navigate to our sample folder. Um, a lot of people have sample libraries on external drives. This can sometimes cause issues for Logic to locate certain files. If you are having issues locating files for presets or anything else, a lot of times there can be permission issues with external, external drives um, causing some sort of glitch in Logic and other samplers to find those files. So if you are having issues, I do recommend having your samples natively on your desktop. Like I said, I know some people don't have room for that, so it, it just varies. If you're having issues, put it on your desktop. If you're not, uh, you can have it on an external. So I just navigated to my sample libraries folder here, and I just downloaded Circles Desert Volume 2. And now I'm gonna go down to the presets section here, go to Logic Sampler, and we see we've got these Desert Volume 2 kits in here. When I open that up, I see there's like nine or 10 presets within here that I can just grab and click on. So I'm gonna click on this Thunderhawk kit here and open this up. And just like that, it opens up and you can start playing. These kits sound great. All of our new builds on the new sampler instrument are multiple velocity and round robin sequencing. So they sound really realistic uh, for programming. So that's all you gotta do to open up our presets on the new Logic Sampler. If we wanna go one step further and have all of our kits appear in this drop-down menu here, let me show you how to do that because that's really convenient and it's a huge time saver. I've already got the Dead 2 and Dead Volume 1 kits in here so I can just pull those up anytime I want. So if we wanna get them in here, the easiest way I found to do this is to go up to Spotlight and do a search for Sampler Instruments folder. This is the one here. And when I pull this up, I'm gonna show you the location this is in because it's in a different location for all uh, Mac users. So for me, this is in Users, Stefan, which is just your name or whatever you're you know, classified as, whatever your name is rather. Go over to Music, Audio Music Apps, Sampler Instruments, and then this is where these kits reside. So I've put in the description of this video a couple alternative areas where this might be on your OS. Depending on which version you are, this is in a different area. This is the most up-to-date sort of uh, folder hierarchy where these things exist. So in our Sampler Instruments folder here, we already see that I've got these dead and dead two kits in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up. I'm gonna go to real quick my sample libraries. So wherever you just downloaded your new circles library, you're gonna cruise down to your presets section here. And you can see within these presets here, uh, Logic Sampler specifically, we've got a folder called Desert Volume 2 Kits. So in the other preset sections, we just have the regular presets there. The reason we have a folder within here is so you can click and copy this. 
So I'm going to copy these Desert Volume 2 clip, uh, kits, rather, go over back to my Sampler Instruments section folder, and paste this into there. So now I've got the Desert Volume 2 kits in the Sampler Instruments folder. I'm going to go back to Sampler. And now we see that those kits appear in this drop down menu. So this makes life a lot easier when you're opening presets. Let's just open another one here and close these. Here we go. Boom. And you can scroll through using these arrows as well. So much easier to open up and have on demand these kits. So that concludes our tutorial for the new Logic Sampler and opening up Circles presets. If you're still having issues with this, you can hit us up at support. So just go to www.circlesdrumsamples.com and click on the support section there. And there's a bunch of helpful links in the description of this video as well. Thanks for watching and happy sampling.